Yes, people. What's going on? Be kind, man. Be kind. It's not hard, is it? What's going on anyway? So you've seen by the title, what is CBG? CBG is a cannabinoid found in cannabis. Like CBD, it's non-psychoactive. So what is CBG good for? CBG is good for people. I just think, think of this, right? Gastro problems, bowel problems. So CBG, I associate the G with gastro. Yeah. Um, for instance, IBD or Crohn's disease. My wife has Crohn's disease. Just remember, CBG is gastro. Yeah. So anything to do with your stomach and your bowels, CBG will have that. And it helps with inflammation, it helps with pain, it helps with sickness. And some studies have shown that it can slow the growth of some cancer cells. So, I mean, it's, it's quite a good cannabinoid so far, isn't it, you know? Oh, and it also significantly reduces the pressure in your eyes that's caused from glaucoma. That's another thing it can do as well. And there's been trials done for the antidepressant properties of CBG. And it shows it has does have a massive impact on mental health, which is another plus. Oh, and this if it, this could be a, a downside to some people, but an upside to some other people. So if you've got an eating disorder, once again, it sort of comes back to the stomach, doesn't it? Yeah. If you've got an eating disorder, for instance, if you're not if you're anorexic or something along them lines. Uh, it will help, it will give you the serious munchies. CBG rich strains will give you the munchies. So if, you, if you're trying to like, like me, stay away from, staying away from the food and that, cause it's beginning of the year, put on some pans and that. I would stay away from CBG strains if you're trying to lose some weight. But I mean, it does, it, it does have many other properties. The other benefits sort of do outweigh me getting the munchies at night. For instance, say I had Crohn's disease, and it was um, alleviating my pains. I would, okay, I'm gonna take the munchies at the end of the night because if, I'm, if it's taking away my problems, my inflammation in my bowels, that's better than not. Do you know what I mean? I'd rather put on a few pounds and be in less pain. Does that make sense? I don't know, it might come across a bit weird, but that's what I'm saying anyway. So CBG doesn't produce in the plant the amounts that say CBD and THC do. Because CBG is very minimal amounts happen in each plant. Say for instance, less than 1% of the plant would be uh, CBG, for instance, that's roughly. But there are strains that do have CBG in them. I'll try and find a list and I'll put it somewhere, here, there, 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 maybe. <laughs> it's got a vogue in it. Um, yeah, so I'll stick them in, but I'll read them out as well. I've got them written down, bear with me. It's the white, the white whale, white CBG, white widow, Jack Frost, John Snow, frosted cake CBG, sour G, lemon cream diesel, cosmic diesel, stardust CBG, super glue CBG. So they are the strains that I can find that do have a higher CBG content. So if you if you are suffering with some gastro problems. I suggest looking into them type of strains, the ones with the high CBG. It will, it will benefit you, it definitely will. I mean, my wife has Crohn's and it benefited her when she used it in the past. So it does, it's just so hard to get a hold of a, a specific strain that you know is a legit strain. Because in the UK, I've either got to get my medication from a, from a prescription and I'm limited to amount of strains that I can get. And if I go, if I went onto the black market, to look for them specific strains. I don't know if it is the actual strain because you know what it's like when it comes in on the black market. People come in with a strain, they go, oh no, it don't smell good and, and this strain's moving at the minute. So they change the name of it. It happens all the time. So you can't guarantee what you're getting unless you know a grower that's growing from seed, that strain, whatever strain it is, you know, Jack Frost, for instance, he's got Jack Frost seeds, he's growing that strain and you know it's legit, then yeah, cool. But other than that, it's, it's, it's virtually impossible. If you're in a legal state in America, I'm sure you can go to your dispensary and find it. In Spain, I'm sure you can go to a cannabis club and find it. In Holland, probably some, they do rename a few things out there, like there's a lot of fake Cali out there, but if you, 
try and get a rapport with the bud tender. Tell them your problems. You're looking for the CBG because you've got gastro problems, you've got Crohn's, you've got IBD, whatever it is. And they, and they should empathize with you and just put you on the right path. I'm hoping that most people, I would. I'm just hoping most people, I, I'm just assuming everyone's nice. I'm too nice of a person. Like I just, I can't, I can't put anyone wrong to be honest with you. That's just the way I am. So if I talk to someone, they give me some information. I'm quite ignorant in the facts where, cause I believe them because I want to believe them, you know? <laughs> CBG. Good for your groans, good for your bowels, good if you've got nausea. Remember, CBG, CBG for gastro problems. If that isn't what it's called, CBG. I, I, can't, I should have written it down. I don't know the scientific name. I, I do know it, but I don't want to murder the actual way of saying it, so I'm not going to say it. Just CBG or CBGA, you know, either one. Google it. Do your own research. Happy days, everyone. You know, be kind. <laughs> so I hope you have a lovely day, people. Thank you for the subs. Thank you for the likes. Thank you for the comments. Share the video. Get it out there. Let's get this channel to 500 in a couple of months. Let's see. All right, 125 or something away from 500. Let's do it, people. Love ya. No one said it to you today. I'll say it to you. I love ya. Peace out, people. See you on the next one.